Well, I just received a gift, a wonderful gift. I was told to be expecting a package. Well, I was thinking maybe it was a box of chocolates. People like to send me chocolates because they know how much I like them. But no. What did I get? An eight shelf greenhouse. Would you believe that a Texas gal's garden and adventures and more sent me a present? She's tired of everything eating my little seedlings. The only thing is I can't find it to find out what size it is because I honestly don't have very much room left. The only place I think I have would be where the next permaculture bed was going to go between the fence and the patio. So let's see if there's an instruction book because I don't understand metric sizes so I can see what size it is. I know I can put it together because I've done that before. Oh. oh, well, this is the shelf end. A book, a book, a little bitty book. Oh, it's not the thin plastic like my other one that the hailstorm killed off. Oh, I don't think I'm going to get to a book. I'm not going to get to a book. Oh dear. Means I'm going to have to take everything out. Oh, Candy, thank you. That's a good one. I don't think a hailstorm is going to kill this one right away. But i got to go pull it all out and find out what size it is for starters. I don't know if these are just, uh, well, that's number one, so there's got to be a book to tell me what anything is. Oh, thank you, Candy. I think this will keep the critters out. If nothing else, it'll keep the birds out. Oh, better than Tinker Toys. I wonder if I can put it up in the house and then carry it outside. <laughs> I need to pull everything out and find out where the directions are, find out what size it is, measure off where it's going to go, and then take it from there. Because I know it can't go where the other greenhouse is. Oh boy. Am I going to be busy? Nice winter project. Nice fall project, if it ever cools down enough. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Well, a Texas gal has been missing. But the reason why she's been missing is she was living in a place that had no internet. Oh, hummingbirds. Hello, babies. Are you my baby? I think you're my baby. That had no internet, so she couldn't do YouTube. So she's back. Anyone here that has been subscribed to a Texas gal garden and adventure and more, she's back, so look forward to her videos. They're going to take a while because she's still trying to get that house going, her newest adventure. She does all kinds of DIYs, concrete work, bird baths, stepping stones, one of her houses, she covered the whole front porch with ceramic tiles, and that turned out so pretty. She does all sorts of DIYs and how-tos with really good information. I'm going to leave the link below to her channel in the show more. So go over and check her out. She's probably going to be too busy with the house to do any commenting on comments, but I'm sure she would appreciate any comments. Oh, thank you, Candy.
Now I gotta figure out how in the world all this goes together and what size it's gonna be. Where could I put a greenhouse? Thought maybe I could put it over one of these. But then it'd be wasting it as a greenhouse, really. Because I really have no open space to do anything. So I think where I'm going to put it is, I can put it there. The only thing is then my hydrangea will be on the other side of it. But I think I'll try putting it over here. And it didn't come with any directions. So what I'm going to do is unfold it. See what size it is. See if it will fit over here. And then put it up over here. At least I don't have to worry about the wind. It won't get a lot of sun. But, yeah, but, it'll be someplace I can put it. I'm guessing that's the height. Yeah, it's got a peak, so that's the height. That's the width. It's going to leave maybe a foot on either side. Okay, this is the length from that corner to this corner. Good, it's not going to be over long, overly long. I think it will fit here just nicely and still leave room out there for planting. Because I don't want to plant anything on the north side of it because nothing grows there. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Th thank you, thank you, Texas gal. Now the fun begins, putting all those little pipes together. Well, luckily they have them all numbered, but I don't know what the numbers correspond to. But they are numbered. Put it over in the non-existent fruit forest. It would be best. Then I can get all my little seedlings over there and they'll be more protected. Nothing's completely protected here, but it'd be more protected. Oh, I wonder what that is. It runs like a skunk. I'm not sure. What do you think that is? Could be a big possum.